What is up, YouTube? This is Zach. And Chris. We Dream Media Home Theater. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We got an unboxing video for you today. ELAC. You know, we've been introducing ELAC to you guys. Kind of an unknown manufacturer, but uh, actually produces surprisingly nice uh, speakers. So we're going to open this bad boy up today. What's the SKU we got? This is the IWV61. This is an in-wall speaker. So uh, we're going to do a quick unboxing for you. Show you what, uh, what these things are about. I'm actually really impressed with the brand ELAC in general, so um, I'm really excited to listen to these things um, that, that we have set up for this, this shootout. Yeah, lesser known, but definitely excited to have this as part of our shootout. This is going to be a series that we're doing. Zig Germans. Yeah, we got, we're going to put 16 <laughs> speakers in these walls right here and do uh, listening comparisons for you guys and also show you how to install them. We got Focal episode, Martin Logan and ELAC. So subscribe if you aren't subscribed already and reach out and purchase if you are interested in buying. Let's go. Alrighty guys, we are gonna get into the unboxing of this ELAC speaker. So just real quick, I'll let you know about these things. Um, this is going to be a six and a half inch mid bass driver, one inch soft dome tweeter, six way crossover, six ohm speaker. Six 30. ohm. Six ohm, all, all of you lack a six ohm, oh. I'm pretty sure. Okay. And, yeah. and that's something that's unique to them. Well, not really unique, but I mean, it's kind of a, kind of. a, a yeah. telling, telling feature about the brand itself. Well, it's like a freaking box within a box. It's uh, the Troikas, the Russian nesting dolls. Okay. We have your instructions, so it'll tell you how to install this thing proper, as well as some of the specs from the video. And um, warranty, guys. I don't mention it in a lot of our videos, but obviously we are an authorized reseller for everything that we sell. And that's important, because there are some fly-by-night companies on the internet, and that's not how we roll. They don't, they don't care. They, they're, they're just gonna sell you something, they'll take your money. I mean, maybe, you know, a price could be too good to be true. And the reason why, it probably is. It probably There's... fell off of Uncle Lou's truck. <laughs> they're, they're gonna lose your support you're gonna lose support if anything ever happens and why would you spend your money on something if you're not covered right dream media is in it for the long haul we have you guys covered check out our online rating we're five star everywhere cool so first thing you'll see in the, the box is going to be your in-wall uh, speaker template so this is cool how it shows you the overall uh, footprint of the speaker itself it has the out print or the outline right there and also if you punch this out, it'll show you what to cut out from your wall. So these are in-wall speakers. They're supposed to go in your wall. Um, you can build out a box and make them on-wall speakers, and you can do that with pretty much any speaker in general. But uh, if you don't want to cut into your walls, just make a box. Put it right on there. It'll work. Probably sound a little better, too, because you have a little space behind it. Make it a mini bookshelf. Looks like we have the ELAC logo, which you can affix to the magnetic grill. Magnetic grill is going to go right on the front of the unit. Can you pop that thing up real quick? Yep. Yeah, and these grills on all these in-wall speakers are paintable, guys. So that you can paint it to the color of the room. Yeah, and that's the thing with this. I'll, I'll see if I can. you guys can get this on, on video. But the front of it is going to look almost exactly the same with each individual one of them. Some of them have this cloth type of material on the back of it. You're going to want to peel that off before you paint it. You know, usually what happens is people go too thick with the paint gunks up this cloth and then you can't get any sound through it because paint isn't acoustically transparent. So that's just a pro tip from us. It actually looks like a pretty good speaker. Check it out. Let me get a hold of that thing. Yeah, you wanna show it to him? That's pretty beefy. Cool, so like I was talking about, has a six and a half inch um, uh, polypropylene um, mid-bass driver, one inch right here, whoops, smacked it with the ring. One inch right here of the soft dome tweeter, which is pretty protected. You don't have to worry about any kid coming up and poking it and things like that. Um, but as the other turn of that is they're not angleable, so you can't really angle yeah. this one. But That's uh, gonna be a downside for sure. Besides that, it does have a little bit of protection on the back. So if you have you know insulation and stuff like that, it's gonna stay out of the circuitry proper because it does have this backing. You have your dog legs on the side. So pretty much all of these in-wall speakers, the construction is more or less the same. It's how much more time and effort that they put into the speaker and how much more quality you're gonna get out of it. So again, we've already talked about the push terminals back here, the dog legs right here. These are made out of plastic, but uh, the overall feeling of this thing is pretty robust. So it, it, def it definitely has a little bit of a heft to it. 
Yeah, and this is just an unboxing, guys. We're taking it out and just showing it to you. You gotta subscribe to the channel. We're gonna do a whole series where we actually show you how to install it, which does factor into the overall experience, as well as listening, which is the most important thing. We're gonna give you feedback on how these things actually sound. Um, these are a 229 per speaker, so still pretty entry level. Uh, not a bad price tag at all. Yeah, the, the, the price is gonna scare a lot of people away, and from what I've heard on the bookshelf side of things, ELAC is, is definitely something that shouldn't be slept on. These, these things are performers and they'll really wow you with the return you're gonna get on the money you're gonna spend on them. I'm really excited to hear them, for sure. I haven't heard a ton of ELAC speakers. It's a newer brand within the last year for us, but Chris has reviewed several and had really good things to say about it, so I'm excited. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button down below and give us a big thumbs up if you like it. If you want to purchase, give us a shot, guys. We ship throughout the entire nation and are building up a preferred installer network in all the major cities so that if you don't want to DIY it, we have you covered. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Till next time, this is Zach and Chris with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching. Later. Oh my gosh. Is that the Dream Media van in my neighborhood? What? Wait, Dream Media, come back.